We've all got shower heads inside our house, but I bet you don't have one like this. Now from the front, this looks like a regular shower head until you notice these wires on the back. And this isn't just a gag. These are electric wires rated for 50 amps of electricity. Pretty scary looking stuff. And that's why this shower head has earned its nickname, the suicide shower. But these have a real purpose. They have the ability to heat water instantly as it's passed through, giving you a hot shower anytime you need it. Here are some photos of what these shower heads look like installed. And I'd say these things don't exactly look safe, but I wanted to see myself if these things could really heat water effectively and are they safe and what makes them work. Now for most of us living in the US, having hot water in our homes is not a luxury. Every house has some type of a hot water heater. Many use a tank system like this where water is heated and stored inside in an insulated tank. But in the past 10 years, things have changed. This is called a combi boiler, often seen as an instant hot water heater. It only heats water when you're going to actually use it. But the suicide shower head takes this one step further. It makes hot water right at the point of use and who would actually need to buy one of these? As you can see in this chart, if you're further north, your water temperature can be as low as 37 degrees coming out of your faucet. But if you go down to Florida, those temps soar up to 72 degrees. And as we go further south, places like South America and countries like Mexico, Brazil, and Cuba have tap water temperatures that can soar even higher as much as 90 degrees. This means there's much less need for hot water in places like sinks and bathrooms, but there's still one problem and that's that everybody likes a hot shower even in a warm climate. So how do you solve that problem without a central hot water heater? Well, that's where the suicide shower head comes in. The simple device is ingenious. It can deliver a hot shower and you only use it when you need it. These sell for as low as $20, and that's pretty close to what we might pay for a shower head alone, but that certainly doesn't include an electric heating element inside. Now, the one I'm holding here states it'll work at 120 volts at 5,000 watts of power use. As we look at the outside of it, the first thing you'll notice is this switch. It's got three positions, which indicate high, off, and low. You can also see on the back, we've got these three wires coming out. One of them is labeled plus, the other one is minus, and then finally you've got a green. Now the plus and minus are kind of weird because there's really no positive or negative when you're dealing with AC electricity. But that green wire is the most important. Now in the US, we call it a ground wire, but overseas they generally call it an earth wire. But what really makes this thing amazing is what's inside. We can first start by unscrewing the outer cover, and you'll see that that same ground wire is placed right in the middle of the water flow. That's supposed to be a safety device and it should ground any electricity that could actually be discharged that could hurt you. The mechanism inside here is really clever. When you slide that switch, you can see these heavy conductors are completely cut off from electricity. When we first move the switch into the low position, you can see that those plastic shutters move, but the electrical contact is still not made. This is the next safety feature inside this device. The shower head will not switch on without water. Now when the water enters the shower head, it fills up that diaphragm and it kind of inflates. That then forces the connectors together and it will make that final connection, turning on the electric heating elements. You put it to the high position and that same connection happens. But watch on the bottom. There's also a third lever and now that will make an additional connection and that connects both heating elements at the same time and you will get maximum hot water from the head. Many people believe that that ground wire is unnecessary and in many parts of the world they don't even have a ground wire in their homes. But I wanted to see this bad boy work so let's hook this thing up. Now the way I installed this is not legal, it's totally unorthodox and I don't recommend that anyone else try to copy this experiment. Here we've got my shower head connected to 120 volts and I used a 50 amp circuit breaker and I'm using these Wago connectors to make the final connection. Now these things are not waterproof and they are not the way you should install one of these. In fact that's the problem with many of these installs. People are using things like electric tape, wire nuts and they are not following the manufacturer's recommendations. They state that you should use a type of waterproof connector. Now with our head connected, let's start by turning on the cold water and measuring the temperature of my New Hampshire well water. Now we can see this thing's putting out 47 degree water. That would not be fun to shower in. I've got to say though, the pattern of the shower head looks surprisingly good. All right, now for the good part, we are going to turn the circuit breaker on and we'll see if something blows up. All right, it's on. I can already feel the difference in temperature, but let's see what the thermometer comes out to. I also wanted to measure how much electricity this thing was actually pulling. Using my clamp on ammeter, I measured 34 amps. But now it's time to see what this thing can do in its maximum high setting. And before I even measure the temperature, I looked at my amp meter to see that we are pulling almost 48 amps. That is a lot of electricity to have right above your head. 
and as we measure our water temperature, we can see it's already at 65 degrees. Now that's almost 20 degrees hotter. Now that still is a cold shower by most standards. Now remember, the people buying this are gonna be starting off with much warmer water. They could be between 80 and 100 degrees. So when you add 20 degrees additional temperature to that water, they're actually reaching about the same temperature that most households in the US have their hot water heater set to. Now as if that $25 price tag wasn't a good enough deal, they've even included this optional hose end sprayer. This seems to be something you can use to kind of clean your hard to reach stuff and it just plugs into the side and you just remove that, slide the hose into position and now if you want to turn this on, you just use this simple plunger. Now I have to say everything about this shower head is very straightforward and easy and if your water isn't hot enough coming out of this thing, you can actually just reduce the flow a bit. Doing that can increase the temperature significantly. But is this thing safe? Well, I decided to connect my electric meter into the water and I measured each side of the connection and I didn't even measure one volt. So as far as what I can test, there doesn't seem to be any type of voltage leakage out of this thing. You read some comments on the internet where people say they get kind of a tingling sensation using it, and I suspect that is more likely due to the fact they didn't connect that earth wire or they've got some type of internal short circuit. But either way, if you're tingling, the shower head is definitely not something you want to keep using. And many of the places that have these things installed don't even have GFCI outlets or protection, so you really run a risk if you've got any type of electrical fault. And I was unable to find a single concrete story where one of these shower heads actually caused a death. But does that mean they're safe? Well, that's something that only you can decide. But for me, I was fascinated by these things. The fact they've sold hundreds of thousands of them, that they brought comfortable showers to people around the world, and I wanted to know how these things actually worked. 